good morning all welcome to azure talks so today uh, we are uh, trying to understand uh, how we can actually access the tier 2 uh, database server because you know you can't uh, rdp the tier 2 environments how do you access the database uh, basically it may require you to uh, enable the lot of uh, lot of users in bulk or you want to execute some database script okay so welcome all uh, uh, once again uh, this is umesh uh, from azure talks so what we will do today uh, you can see my screen that we have all on the tier 2 environment uh, we are looking for uh, go to the tier 2 environment go to the full details and then you will see a database account just try to say we want to uh, write to ax maybe some performance or uh, yeah performance or read only so we have to write it so let's say performance and details say make it as ax uh, user update and then over here click on the request button okay so why we are doing this yesterday one of my friend uh, from lashmi uh, from uh, mumbai actually she called me and uh, she wanted to have uh, seeking help uh, yesterday I have given uh, her uh, the details but again uh, there are a lot of questions which uh, people are asking this type of so I thought of creating a video out of it okay so it will take some time and it will give you the grant access for next eight hours let's uh, wait for two minutes okay so next step would be uh, yeah so this has been created and it will be uh, it the just in time just is nothing but just in time uh, account and it will give you for eight hours access so if you see it will after the page refreshes it will show you <coughs> the details let me refresh page and see if I got it The next step would be uh, let me bring back this screen to you main screen to you yeah so that's the that's the screen which we got so this is the uh, server name and this is the username and the password so what you need to do is you need to copy this into a notepad I will explain you what it contains so the first one is the uh, database server name and then this is the database server this is the DB server and what is the database database is this okay so people confuse and paste the complete to the database server so this is actually the database name okay so I will tell you where to use it and then the second point is uh, the just-in-time account which is the username and the password okay so username will be copied like this and then the password so just copy it password is this okay so once you have copied go to the uh, maintain and try to uh, try to enable the access and provide the IP address okay so this is the screen which talks about uh, giving the access okay so Azure SQL will be default okay and the name you can put it as uh, anything maybe dev1 dev2 dev3 or anything else or you can make just uh, which is I'm doing it from uh, home so I will say home Kanpur Umesh Kanpur home okay and the IP address so IP address uh, should be mine so I will just search it for IP address as what is my IP the IP is alphanumeric so I will look it for uh, my IPv4 this alphanumeric is actually IPv6 so IPv6 will not work I have to get my IPv4 so this is my current IP I will just copy it go back and paste it here and confirm so let's wait for the confirmation once it is done it will come here 
and then we will move on with the next step. So in the back end, what it is doing on the Azure side of the SQL, uh, it is giving an entry of your uh, IP address with the name and the service. Okay, so it is actually whitelisting your IP so that you can RDP the, uh, you can, uh, sorry, uh, access the database server with the help of the SSMS. And make sure that you have already installed the SSMS, okay? Yeah, so looks like it has been done. Yeah, so firewall rule has been set up and say okay. After clicking okay, it will appear here. Just try to close it. You have all the details to enter in the SSMS. So minimize this, maybe like this. And then open the SSMS, which in my case I have already opened. I will switch this to the next uh, window. So that's crucial, that's the very important. Copy the database, copy this particular database to here on the database engine. And uh, then the database name, I uh, will come to this. Username and the password, let's copy it over here. And then the password. Okay. And uh, if you try to connect, it will show you the error. Okay, and uh, it will ask you to whitelist the IP. So this has been already done. This is, should not be required. But uh, let me go to the option and look for the connect to the database. So connect to the database, again, very important. You have to copy this database name over here and say yes. And then you go back to login screen and say connect. Okay, so that's the reason it will asking you to whitelist the IP because you have not specified the database name. So if you see it is getting connected and uh, this is my, if you see on the top, this is my server and this is my uh, username which is given for the login and then click expand the database. This is my actual database which I want to access it. Okay, so let's suppose I'm looking for some table now you can do the query okay so whatever query you wish to do you will be able to do it okay so let's suppose i am looking for uh, dbo dot user okay so this will come as an user info and then uh, i normally do it with the help of like this 200 uh, and since this is a demo so you may see a lot of users which is there into the system. Okay, so by this uh, we complete, yeah, see a lot of uh, users are there. So by this we complete our uh, small demo. And uh, in case uh, you have any issues, please uh, comment, reply, uh, comment it and I will reply you back. Uh, please do connect, uh, please uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.